So in my web design class, we create a little guy who I like to call HTML man. He's kind of an HTML snowman, you might say, um, because I want to get them to understand the basic concepts of a web page structure. Uh, a lot of students really struggle with this part of it, and a lot of teachers tend to just gloss over it because if you open up a new document in Dreamweaver or Thimble, it's already pre-coded these items. So I think it's important that the students understand those pre-coded areas. So we create this little guy. Um, we start with a paper and we fold it hot dog style. So it's a hot dog fold. And then we draw like a little box up here, which when I illustrate this to the kids, I call the hat. Then the head, which is the smaller ball up here. And there's specific reasons why we have glasses and a mustache and this little chain here. I'll explain that in a minute. And then you have the body, which is the big ball. And then at the bottom, we have this little stump that he sits on top of because, you know, he's a snowman and we stick him on this little stump. And those are then going to represent the top and the bottom flap are going to, after you cut these edges, so you'll cut them off so these open. So it's kind of like those mix and match books when I was a little kid. Um, we like to color in our little hat up here so that when you open this flap, you get the HTML tag. And when you open the little flap that he sits on, you get the closing HTML tag. So that they always remember that those are going to be <clears throat> the first and last of the paired tags. Now, up here in the corner, after you cut off, we put the document type declaration because that's line one of every document that we create that's an HTML5 document. And so, so that they don't forget that one, we just go ahead and put it here on the paper so that that one is just there and, and known. So we have our little <clears throat> hat for our head, or for our um, HTML, and then we have our head. Now, the head has the title in it, and so instead of giving him some, like, Gucci sunglasses or Ray-Bans, his little brand is title, if you will, so that they always remember that that title goes in the head, um, because otherwise they tend to get confused and they think that the title is actually on the visible part of the web page, which is actually a body. So we give him some title sunglasses. We give him a mustache with the word meta in it, and sometimes I put two metas in there, because I tell my students that there's two meta tags that we should always use, the character set of UTF-8, and then setting the viewport for responsive design. So we kind of do it that way. Um, some of them just sort of decorate their mustache that way. And then finally, the other thing that we're going to put in the head almost every time is going to be the link tag. Get it? It's like a little chain, a little necklace, chain link. So anyway, the link tag to link to the style sheet. And so that's what this little thing's all about. So that when they look at it, they can remember the title, the meta tags, and that link tag go inside the head section. And of course they can open it up and have it on there. So we've got the head, we've got the title, which is in there. Um, and then you would have your link line and your meta, and you could have them write out, and probably I would, I was just whipping this one together quickly. You could have them write out exactly what those meta tags are supposed to look like and exactly what that link tag is supposed to look like. And then they can fold it back. And then, of course, you got your big party, your guy. So we can draw whatever else we want on him here. Um, and that's going to be the body. So that's going to have your body tag. And then all your headings, paragraphs, images, and any other stuff is visible. And then I have to remember to turn off the body before we turn off the HTML. And then, again, I always remind them those are the last two tags in every document that we're going to be creating. So... That's kind of how I start off with my students. In the beginning, we learn these basic structure tags, um, the six headings and paragraphs, and then we go from there. So that's what we've covered in week one of web design. I hope this helps.